Hi everyone, it's Rob Watson, the uh, module leader for Tech 1502, Introduction to Community Media. And this is a short video overview of the key points that we'll be covering in the 13th of our lecture, Lucky 13, uh, for this, the, the second one for 2017. Um, I've created the PowerPoint uh, presentation. Um, there's some clips and uh, videos and diagrams in this. So as usual, I don't share the PowerPoint presentation, but I do share the notes, uh, which are available up on the wiki uh, to download as a PDF. Now, if you can't remember where the wiki is, it's wiki.our.dmu.ac.uk. Just look for the link for the Tech 1502 page and look for the section uh, lecture notes. Uh, so the topics that we're going to cover this week, we're thinking about how um, social media and forms of social media um, help to um, underpin or, or create, in fact, uh, communities based around interaction in terms of uh, practice and knowledge. So last week we looked at the idea of participation and how essential that is to the formation and thinking about media uh, communities and communities that use media uh, and this week what we want to do is we want to take a little bit further and look at the way that some of the kind of ICT and the kind of network technologies uh, use uh, uh, and are able to promote uh, a sense of interconnectedness and a kind of uh, a, a pattern of engagement which is goes beyond the kind of local environment in which we live and takes us into the kind of global mediated uh, cyber world. How often do people use that phrase anymore? So the kind of issues that we'll, we'll cover in this are related to some ideas about a kind of collective sense of awareness of engagement and interaction. We'll look at the idea of uh, how, um, and this comes from a French writer, Pierre Levy, who talked about collective intelligence and the development of things like wikis and how important they are for a kind of shared knowledge culture. Uh, as we use wikis to collaborate, we also use wikis to exchange and develop uh, knowledge. And uh, whether it's wisdom, I'm not sure, but we certainly do it to exchange information. Uh, but this leads to a kind of sense of open source collaboration. So it kind of shifts the way that we, the potential uh, uh, way that we think away from kind of, if you like, discrete uh, knowledge uh, uh, unit, so a book, and it moves it towards something which is open and fluid and dynamic and constantly being updated and linked to almost everything else that there is available as well. So it really kind of is a, a, an a incredibly significant shift away from a pattern of knowledge development and community engagement uh, in the previous uh, era to something which is quite new. So we'll look at the idea of how the technology of mass communication, what's called Web 2.0 technology, kind of brought this in and kind of made the, the, the shift uh, possible in the early noughties. Uh, but we'll also look at the kind of idea about uh, how collective intelligence and aggregation uh, and putting things out to the wisdom of crowds uh, is something which is now fairly common and available. Uh, so we'll go through ideas about wiki tools. We'll look at some of the principles. Uh, Jason Mittal writes about wikis and their, uh, what they are, enable people to be able to do, what, they, what affordances they give us. So we'll look at what Jason Mittal says about that. And then we'll also look at the idea of kind of situated learning um, communities. So people who use uh, communication technology as a way of bringing people together as a kind of knowledge community. Uh, and the question is, does this lead, lead you know, in, in terms of its the, the kind of social exchanges, and this is something, again, that we touched upon last week when we talked about participation, does this lead to a kind of sense of people power, a sense that it's people and citizens that are in uh, the driving seat? Uh, who, where, where does responsibility uh, uh, lie? Where does uh, the power uh, sit in this uh, changed and more dynamic field of uh, relationships, this network culture. So the thing that we'll look at is the kind of sharing models that are becoming more prevalent, uh, the kind of changes in the status of experts and amateurs. Uh, we'll look at kind of how fans get involved and the kind of idea of independent production and, and what we can achieve outside of the kind of mainstream and industrialised uh, forms of media production. 
So the notes are up available on the wiki to download. Um, there's also uh, the reading this week is a chapter, uh, a paper actually, uh, I, I've, uh, that's, that was available online for um, from Howard Rheingold, who uh, I mentioned last week. Uh, and it's about using participatory media and public voice to encourage civic engagement. Uh, so that's a useful uh, paper which gives a good overview for the things we're trying to achieve with community media. How can we use social media and information communication media in order to promote a kind of sense of civic participation? Uh, also, there's a uh, link to a YouTube video, uh, which you might have seen going around, which is called This is Exactly What's Wrong With This Generation. And it's, uh, let me just open the tab, and it's about, um, it's by a, a, an interview with a guy called Simon Sinek. And it's something in which he outlines his thoughts about the challenges that face the gener your generation. Uh, in terms of how you adapt to ch technology and how employers and industries um, need to adapt and change the different outlook uh, that social media brings along. So it'd be good, it'd be useful for us to sit and watch that at some point and have a conversation about it. The links are up on the wiki um, and I'll see you at the lecture on Tuesday morning.